Okay, I've been holding off on doing this update until I got some of my Hungarian wax peppers to start getting ripe, and uh, I'm I'm done holding off. I've got a few few of them that are orange and red, but not a whole lot. But uh, let's take a look here. Okay, lots of red on my Thai dragons. Um, I got a test another one here to see if they finally gained some heat but the early ones sure didn't um, they're both doing real good plenty of red peppers I'll be using those in uh, the saws I'll be making here this week um, my uh, Carolina Reaper cross uh, see you can see I got some good tails on some of these here's, here's a really good tail but uh, the, the shape's not right so but uh, I, I do know there's plenty of heat and I'll probably use a couple of these in my batch of salsa just for the the heat factor okay here we go on the uh, Hungarian wax you can see I got uh, one r nice ripe red one there another nice orange one um, and this is that this is that plant you can oh I just broke it <laughs> shoot Oh well, I'm going to be harvesting these here in a minute. Anyway, um, what was I? Oh, the, the foliage on them here. You can see it on here real well. You can see. I don't know, I don't know what that is. If it's uh, some kind of uh, disease or what it is. But the plant's producing real well, so I'm not too worried about it. It hasn't spread to any more of my plants. I... It could just be some kind of a var variegation, um, like some other peppers uh, show. But uh, anyway, I may I may say some se save some seeds from uh, these and see if I can grow it out next year and get the same result. Uh, my next one here, yeah, you can see, got a couple nice ones there. One's almost red and one's an orange. And then you can see, I just just a. Uh, ton of nice these are nice big pods here you know um, and there's a bunch of them on there uh, so I'll have plenty to cold can here in a little bit a couple of nice orange ones there there's one there and one there and this one's getting close to going red whoops and then a bunch of nice nice yellow ones on here also um, this one, same deal, couple, here's an orange one. This one's darn near red, nice big, big pod. Um, and again, plenty of, uh, plenty that aren't ripe yet, but, uh, they'll still slice up real well. This plant here, I don't see any orange or red, oh, there's an orange one there. And, uh, I'll be harvesting all these here in a, a few minutes. There's a, there's a nice orange one here, and one up there, I don't know if you can see it too well. Oh, a couple down here, I didn't even notice. There's a nice red one, nice orange, and uh, a couple over here. This one's got, uh, oh, three, at least three orange ones, nice orange there, nice orange one there, another nice big orange. Uh, one that's just starting and this one <clears throat> it's the only plant that doesn't have any orange on it I think so but uh, a lot of nice yellow ones I'll be picking all these here pretty soon I don't know how many I'll get uh, for the end of this the heck stupid fly there it's kind of cool out today it's about 70 degrees and and uh, cloudy He's probably just kind of dormant there. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see I, I do have some uh, small peppers going on here. And and some more blooms. So once I harvest, I'm sure some more will pop, start popping up. But uh, I basically got maybe four weeks of growing it le left. And, and that'll be it. So I don't know how big they'll get. And my Bolivian... Uh, this this is my twilight here and you can see most of the pods now are red so I got a ton of red in there um, you get the purple ones are the uh, 
early stage and then the orange and yellows and stuff are, are the in-between. Here's a kind of a real cool pod if you can see it there. Anyway, uh, my Bolivian rainbow is in the same boat, mostly red now, but it's got some in the other color stages. I need to pick a bunch of the red ones and then obviously I'll start getting a bunch of uh, new pods, but uh, as you can see there's I don't know two three hundred on each plant takes a while to do that so okay uh, let's go out and check out the uh, banana peppers in the above ground garden out back all right and my banana peppers in my above ground garden just a quick note here you can see my uh, daikon radishes have kind of taken over around here Damn, that's big. I don't know. I haven't pulled any radishes or anything. I don't know what's going on down there, but those plants are getting awful darn big. I mean, they're a foot and a half, two foot tall. And uh, spreading out like crazy. But anyway, let's check out the peppers here. This is the one hot Hungarian wax, which is getting crowded out big time. And uh, there, there we go. There's a orange pepper. And then we uh, go over here to the banana peppers. This is one of the hot. Several pet pods on there. And I mean, these things are still putting out new ones, tons of new ones on here. So they'll be producing right up to the end of the year. But I'll be coming out to, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll hold off harvesting these guys until, uh, until I get some good red ones on the bananas. But uh, here we go. This is a good one with some good pods I might be getting a little bit of orange on that one I don't know but uh, oh, more radishes damn those things are bit growing um, here's a little bit better look this one has just a bunch of little ones on it here he's got some nice nice pods some more nice pods now here's a banana pepper that's got some orange but that's awful splotchy looking Huh, weird. Anyway, yeah, I think I'll wait on those. I'll come and pick the Hungarian wax peppers there, but that's it. And then this <laughs> this banana peppers are getting really crowded out too. Um, some nice pods. Okay, here's my uh, in-ground watermelon. Um, you can see this is about the first watermelon that uh, popped up right here, and it's probably ready for picking. It's, I don't know how big you'd call that, but, uh, you know, there's my hand. It's pretty good size. Um, I've got another one over here, and I just noticed over the last few days, uh, it started to put out some more small ones, one here and another one right here another one here there's some kind of critter in there making noise at me I wonder what it is can you hear that there he goes anyway there's another you got another watermelon under here let's see it I don't know what that is. Maybe a tree frog. Um, anyway, that's all I got on these. These vines are just crazy big. But uh, I'll probably be picking, picking the two bigger ones on here soon. Oh, and a uh, quick look at my uh, pink elephant hibiscus. These, these flowers are just huge. Just to show you here. That thing's close to as big as a dinner plate. Um, they're kind of weighted down. It rained this morning, so they're all weighted down kind of bad. But uh, anyway, let's go check out the, uh, the watermelons in back. Okay, and here's my uh, container watermelons. Again, the plants are doing awesome. 
tons of buds on them. I guess the cooler weather has started that. I don't know. But anyway, I used to have, I don't know, eight, nine real nice watermelons on here, but slowly but surely they've been getting robbed or raided. Um, here's one that's still left. Still, uh, you can see what's going on here. See? See what's going on? Those are teeth marks, and as you can see right there, that's a vole tunnel. Not a mole, but a vole, V-O-L-E. They're like a, a field mouse. And what they've been doing is cruising around. Let me see if I can show you here. I got, there's another watermelon. There it is. That'll show you what's going on. You can see it. There we go. See how to see that hole in the bottom there? Damn things just they they just uh, bore hole through the bottom under their tunnel and uh, crawl right up in there and eat the damn things. Here's another one. See that? And as you can see, the hole in the bottom. There's the vole tunnel. So I've pretty much given up on this plant back here. There's not much I can do, you know. Um, I suppose I could put something under them, but uh, like this one here, this one was hanging, so I had to put a support on it. This one might wind up doing okay. Same with that one, because it's hanging. It's not on the ground. It's actually suspended. And this one's on top of a, a little planter. So I don't know, those might wind up doing okay because they're not on the ground. But uh, we'll see. I I was expecting a lot out of this plant because I had so many nice ones on there a month or so ago and they're all gone. So anyway, that's it for the watermelons. And here's the giant Alaskan radishes. There's one daikon radish there too, but... Uh, the darker green ones of the giant Alaska. Um, they're supposed to be throwing out bolts or, you know, like the seed shoots here pretty soon. And uh, there's only one of these that's really done that so far. Not this one. Get those leaves out of there. Um, looks like this plant here might be doing it. I mean, it's got a central shoot that's coming up about four or five inches, whereas the other ones are right down near the ground yet. There, you can see that a little better. But, uh, you know, I'm waiting for the seed pods to come up. I guess they're really, really great to eat. But it looks like we got a little ways to go. I got another, like I said, about a month to grow yet, so we'll see how that happens. But, uh, they're looking awful good at this point. Huge, that's for sure.